so this video will be about what you should bring and what not to bring when coming to the hostel hello my name is Nathan Tombra if you see me for the very first time kindly hit the subscribe button make sure you like share and comment then turn on your notification you will have to stay through this video because the last point is the most important point for students staying in the hostel in Niger Delta University okay so let's get into this video i have a video of how to survive ninja delta university already in my okay i will post the link in my description or in my comment section so make sure you watch if you want to survive this call yeah so the first point is just bring your sense you have to bring your sense bring your sense like carry your full sense if it's possible if you don't have sense please if it's possible borrow your family members print and sense and come to the school because without sense you you're gonna survive so what everyone know you have to bring is your documents yes your wife certificate see just bring everything anything your name that is that your name is on just bring it just bring them when you are coming to school yeah so um basic requirements okay so you need padlock like at least two padlocks one for your locker then one for your box because and please don't overpack in all my videos i normally mention this don't overpack at least your um one box and um a carry-on bag should be okay because you are going back home you just have one small local space and um your your bunk under your bunk for you to put your buckets so where do you want to put all those things so don't overpack just bring along two to three um padlocks so you can lock your things then you can bring hangers yeah you need hangers for you to use to hang your clothes then iron um iron jugs because we don't use gas we don't cook so you can bring an electric jug for you to boil water to bathe or to drink or to bake anything then you can bring along few plates you don't you're not feeding full generation just one or two plates then one or two cutleries that should be okay for you if you're staying in the hostel you don't need to bring bed because it will be given to you don't bring gas cooking is not allowed in main campus hostel my ladies don't bring gas but the guys that in new sites can cook so you can come along with gas i'm saying it again don't overpack um you need okay so you need pegs yes and you can also come with like um two yard of wire normally ropes are in the hostel but it's advisable you come with yours in case the ones in the hostel is already filled up you can quickly tie yours and spread your clothes yes so pegs and rope should be among your most what to bring to school yes yeah, so um you won't be given bed spread or bed cover so you have to bring them along and please once you come to school once you are giving your bed please make sure you um get um they call themselves spray uh, like fleets just fleets your bed sun them to just avoid any bed bugs i'm not saying there's bed bug but at least prevention is better than cure yeah so just <laughs> just bring along them then um you have to bring containers for easy access of your beverages instead of keeping them you know ants and the rest so if you bring um containers like empty containers where you can put if you are not, if you don't have refills yes because most people like buying refill most people like buying the carton 
I mean, they can. So if you are buying refill, so you have to buy along containers where you can turn them inside to avoid any damage. Then you have to bring this is for my ladies. Yeah, you have to come along with like a custard bucket, like custard bucket. I don't know how to explain. The custard don't have to be inside. Yes, I'm not with mine here, but because I don't have to be inside, just empty because that's what you make is of. So I don't know if you understand, but just come along, or you can just come. They are selling it everywhere. If I don't need, don't need, don't need. It take too much space. So when you just come, when you come, you have to get them. Then for you to check in, you have to get buckets. The bucket will be your personal um personal bucket but it's a requirement for you to check in you need your bucket you need a mop either a mop or a um brush like i can't really remember but you need a mop or either a mop or a brush then two buckets yes because you need two buckets everybody has to bring their bucket along then the two most important thing that you should never come to this school without deodorant yes i said it deodorant don't come here smelling because if you come here smelling we'll show you shaggy and you're staying you'll stay you're not staying alone definitely definitely people will figure it out yeah and you don't want to be Susan the smelling girl or the um, body odor girl. Yeah, so you have to come with enough deodorant. Then come with money. See, I have to, I have to hold my head, my ear. Anyone, come with money. You need enough money, especially when you are the one you are, you are a fresher. You have things to do, you have photocopies to do, like you have things to pay for, you have like just come with enough money. See, let me know like the see if you bring one million there, you will know when everything will finish, even 50k, you will know when see just come and remember in why you need to watch that video is on how to survive is I talked about how to manage your money everything so you need to watch that video it will be in my comment section or in my description so you need to watch it then for those coming to your store please please see as long as your porter or your hostel coordinator say this is your space see don't see there's no there's no senior this there's no senior that there's no senior don't tell anybody your age don't see keep them guessing don't tell anybody about your age keep them guessing so even though you have um, a senior in your hostel like your secondary school or your hostel or your church member or any that is staying in your hostel your space is your space don't don't come and be doing um and let me they're not fetching water for anybody they don't they don't do like those that stayed in the um, hostel in secondary school, please drop all those attitude. There's nothing like uh, my senior. I have to lay her bed. I have to do this. No, don't. No, you're right. I'm not saying that you should be rude or you should be arrogant or you should at least know what you are doing. Know your space. Set boundaries so you get. See. I'm, I'm already saying everything I said in that video. So just go and watch that video so you can know, so you can be prepared for the journey ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, so that will be all for now. Kindly like, share, comment, then subscribe. Turn on your notification bell also in case of any information so you will get it on time.